US special services continue to use journalists as their agents, violating US laws. The official representative of the Russian Foreign Ministry, Maria Zakharova, wrote about this in her Telegram channel. She noted that a year had already passed since the detention of the Wall Street Journal employee Evan Gershkovich, who was taken into custody on March 30, 2023 in Yekaterinburg on suspicion of espionage. On the anniversary of his detention, a black and white photograph of the journalist was published on the front page of the next issue of the Wall Street Journal. The photo was accompanied by the caption, his report could be here. I do not rule out, by the way that this is how the American edition expresses its indignation against the US intelligence services, which, contrary to US laws, continue to use journalists as their agents. Zakharova stressed, she added, that if the US correspondent had been free, he could have written about terrorist shelling of Russian cities by the Ukrainian armed forces. At the same time, the Russian Foreign Ministry representative drew attention to the fact that journalists themselves are often targeted. This includes employees of publications from the United States. What is not a report from a hotspot, which the Americans themselves created by pumping weapons and intelligence into the militants. Zakharova wondered and listed the names of journalists who suffered as a result of shelling by Ukrainian troops.